Hey everyone, welcome back to Complicated Things. Photography is wonderful when it's nice and slow and you have all the time in the world and you can really play around and get exactly what you want. A lot of time we don't have that um, luxury and things have to be done fast. So that creates a challenge in itself. How do we get good photos? But secondly, if you need two or three different kind of looks, how do you do that fast and efficiently? One of the most effective ways to change the look of your pictures is by changing your backdrop. Savage sent us this multi-pole background system and currently I've got three nine foot seamlesses on that background. And what that allows me to do is to change my background color super quick without stopping the flow of the shoot too much and can really give you so much more variety in a short amount of time. Yesterday, I did a photo shoot with my friend Caleb who uh, needed some, some new pictures and I thought it would be a really good time to show you my process of shooting and how changing the background and tweaking the lights can really change the look of one of your pictures. Do you know the story about the Empire State Building? Yeah, it was built to dock Zeppelins. Yep. But it never did because yep. it was too windy. Yep. Yeah, I heard it's about that. It's like one of my favorite stories, but for That's some true. reason, yeah, it was true. That's why the Empire State Building is the Empire State Building. They thought that people would go up to the top board Zeppelin. As always, I wanted to start with kind of a go-to thing that I, I know works before I start experimenting. So I took a beauty dish on a pro photo head and I put it at 45 degree angle and that was my only light. Um, I have the seamless probably six feet behind me. So this setup really works for me. Um, I use it all the time and the gray is incredibly neutral. It kind of neutralizes everything in the shot. The light is pretty even, a little dramatic with the beauty dish at 45 degrees. So then I made a switch, folks. I switched to this blue background, which I really like. Um, you know, it's interesting sometimes you, you assess your subject and then you can get a feel of maybe what color would suit skin tones and you know it's always something to think about because even if you love the color if it doesn't match the person then you know it's not going to make for a great interesting photo but what I did here is I actually changed the beauty dish and I kept it pretty much at the same angle but I just swiveled it to the left and I think I put a little full card in and as you can see from the photos coming in, I changed the mood of the picture by changing the angle of the light, but more importantly, by changing the color. So we get a different vibe and a different mood from these photos. I'm not trying to you know, change the world in between sets, but what I am trying to do is just give um, my client or my subject some options with different moods and different colors. Caleb is a brilliant person to photograph. He has great face to photograph. And as Caleb likes to have an androgynous look, um, I decided that I was gonna go for a light on my third shot that was a little softer. So I put up a soft umbrella and we wanted to do something kind of a little bit off the cuff. So I pulled down the purple background. I, I, I think it looks kind of angelic. And I really love this look. I think out of all three of the shots, I really like this look best. You know, uh, when Caleb saw the picture coming up, he goes, oh, I look like I'm in a Wes Anderson film. And I thought, wow, well, that's a compliment. And you know, we only shot for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, but within that 10 or 15 minutes, we really managed to get three pretty different looks and feels. I'm gonna do a lot of conversion to black and white. And what I like about having three different colors is that when I convert, I get three different gray tones. So it's also gonna give us that when we convert to black and white. So using the Savage Multipole system for this shoot was really great for me to be able to really switch up my shots. Super big thank you to Caleb for um, being filmed for this episode and a big thank you to Savage for sending us this system. I really like it. It solves a problem for me. We'll be back super soon. See you next time.